analyzing. If Halo is a weapon, this entire valley must be the firing mechanism. We read you, Fire Team Zulu. On our way. We should hurry. They can't hold out much longer. I thought the Covenant had eliminated all the Marine forces in this area. Negative, team. No evac available at this time. But the Chief and I could use some assistance. The Covenant placed their tanks to defend the entrance to the tunnel. We need to get to that tunnel, Marines. Let's move in. The tunnel door is locked. We need to find the door's controls and open it. Cortana to Fire Team Zulu. The tunnel is open. Get ready to move in. We need to get up this ridge. Marines, hold your positions. We'll handle those guns. Master Chief, we should scale the ridge and get below those stationary guns. Cortana to Fire Team Zulu. I've sent a distress call tagged with your current position. Hold your position and await evac. The Master Chief and I are going to continue on ahead. Resistance appears to be increasing. We must be close to the control center. Analyzing. This must be the control room. Subtle. Look, Covenant Banshees. We can use them to fly straight to the control structure. Don't let anyone else touch them. Alert. Covenant forces have secured the Banshees. We'll have to find another way down. The entrance to the control center is at the top of that pyramid structure. Bring me up there and I should be able to get us inside. We should commandeer one of those ghosts. We're going to need the firepower. Scanning. Covenant forces in the vicinity have been eliminated. Let's move on to Halo's control center. The entrance to the control center is located at the top of the pyramid. Let's get up there. This is it. Halo's control center. That terminal, try there. Never been better. You can't imagine the wealth of information. The knowledge, so much, so fast. It's glorious. What are you talking about? This ring isn't a cudgel, you barbarian. It's something else. Something much more important. The Covenant were right. This ring. It's Forerunner. Give me a second to access. Yes, the Forerunner built this place, what they called a fortress world, in order to... Wait. No, that can't be. Oh, those Covenant fools. They must have known. There must have been signs. The Covenant found something. Buried in this ring, something horrible. And now, they're afraid. The Captain, we've got to stop the Captain. The weapons cache he's looking for, it's not really... We can't let him get inside. There's no time. Get out of here. Find keys. Stop him. Before it's too late. Roger that. We'll be able to find our way to the control center from here. Look out. We can't let the monitor activate Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. According to my analysis of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. A starship's fusion reactors going critical would do the job. I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant battle net and see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. I haven't located the crash site yet, but we need to buy some time in case the Monitor or his Sentinels find a way to activate Halo's final weapon without the Index. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow it to fire deep into space. The power levels are enormous. I can't even begin to calculate the pulse's range. So, if we damage or destroy these generators, the monitor will need to repair them before Halo can be used. That should buy us some time. I'm marking the location of the nearest pulse generator with a nav point. We need to move in and neutralize the device. Wait. We should commandeer one of those banshees. We'll need it to reach the pulse generator in time. Good. Let's get moving. The nav point marks our target. That's the pulse generator. The center core is the signal amplifier. That's what we need to shut down. We need to interrupt the pulse generator's energy stream. I've adjusted your shield system so that it will deliver an EMP burst to disrupt the generator. But you'll need to walk into the beam to trigger it. The EMP blast should neutralize the generator but it will also drain your shields and leave you vulnerable until they recharge. Objective accomplished. The pulse generator has overloaded. Scanning. The generator's central core is offline. Well done. The second pulse generator is located in the adjacent canyon. Move out and I'll mark the target with a nav point when we get closer. Head through that door. That's the way to the next canyon. Okay, let's take care of the next pulse generator. Wait, we haven't destroyed the pulse generator yet. Find a banshee and fly to the location marked by the nav point. That did it. The pulse generator overloaded. One more to go. I've located the Pillar of Autumn. She put down 1,200 kilometers up spin. Energy readings show her fusion reactors are still powered up. The systems on the Pillar of Autumn have fail-safes even I can't override without authorization from the captain. We'll need to find him. 
or his neural implants to start the fusion core detonation. One target remaining. Let's take care of the final pulse generator. That tunnel leads to the next section of canyon. The final pulse generator we need to destroy is through there. Final target neutralized. Let's get out of here. No, that'll take too long. There's a teleportation grid that runs throughout Halo. That's how the monitor moves about so quickly. I learned how to tap into the grid when I was in the control center. Unfortunately, each jump requires a rather consequential expenditure of energy. But I'm pretty sure I can pull it from your suit without permanently damaging your shields. Needless to say, I think we should only try this once. Oh, really? I've spent the last 12 hours cooped up in here watching you toady about helping that thing gets set to slit our throats. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal, is he? Your chum? Do you have any idea what that bastard almost made you do? You mean this? Sod off! You sure that's a good idea? Do what? I have the index. You can just float and sputter. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill Flood. It kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the Flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? Ask him. Left out that little detail, did he? Chief, I'm picking up movement. We need to go right now. Get us out of here. I leave home for a few days and look what happens. This won't take long. Now would be a very good time to leave. There. That should give us enough time to make it to a lifeboat and put some distance between ourselves and Halo before the detonation. Look! Oh, hell. I knew it. The autumn's accelerating. Keys is going in manual. He's in my data arrays. A local tap. You sure you wouldn't rather take a seat? He stopped a self-destruct sequence. If I still had fingers, they'd be crossed. At least I still have control over the comm channels. I'm detecting taps throughout the ship. Sentinels, most likely. As for the monitor, he's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted, I don't know what to do. Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why? Okay, I'm coming with you. Chief, sentinels! We're cutting it close! Shut them down. We'll need them later. Fancy a look? Scanning. Just dust and echoes. We're all that's left. We did what we had to do. For Earth. An entire Covenant armada obliterated, and the Flood. We had no choice. Halo. It's finished. A dozen Covenant superior battleships against a single Halcyon-class cruiser. I think we both know the answer to that. With those odds, I'm content with three, make that four, kills. Sleep well? Get here first? The Covenant ships have always been faster. So you did miss me. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. It must have been one of their boarding parties. I'd guess an antimatter charge. Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now, nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS-class battle groups. Make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. While you do what? Go down with the ship? Everyone, sir? With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. Hmm? Aye, aye, sir. I've already begun. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Attention, Attention all, all combat, combat personnel. personnel. Please, Please report, report to your, your action, action stations. stations. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Yank me. Fifth platoon, secure airlocks on deck 11. 14th platoon, platoon rendezvous, rendezvous with 22nd tactical, tactical at Bulkhead Charlie 14. 14. This, this is, is not a drill. drill. I repeat, this, this is not a drill. drill. Attention, Attention all personnel. personnel. We are re-engaging re the enemy. The enemy. External, External and internal contact, contact imminent. imminent. I can read the captain's CNI transponder. He's in the control room. But I'm not detecting any human life signs. The damage caused by the crash and the flood have sealed off all nearby access ways to the control room. We should find another way in. Analyzing damage. This hole was caused by some kind of explosive. Very powerful if it tore through the ship's hull. All I detect down there are pools of coolant. We should continue our search somewhere else. There's so many I can't track them all. Warning, threat level increasing. That jump into the coolant is looking better all the time, Chief. Trust me. It's deep enough to cushion our fall. Warning, threat level increasing. That jump into the coolant is looking better all the time, Chief. Trust me, it's deep enough to cushion our fall. Chief, we need to jump now. Let's get out of here and find another way back aboard the ship. The crash did more damage than I suspected. Analyzing. 
Coolant leakage rate is significant. The ship's reactor should already have gone critical. We should head this way, towards the ship's gravity lift. Wait. The Covenant and Flood are attacking each other. I recommend we wait until they've worn each other down. Then we'll only have to deal with the stragglers. Power source detected. There's the gravity lift. It's still operational. That's our way back in. We should be able to get into the ship's control room from here. The Covenant battle net is a mess. I can't access the ship's schematics. My records indicate that a shuttle bay should be here. Look, in the corners. The Flood are gathering bodies here. Looks like another shuttle bay. We should be able to reach the control room from the third level. The control room should be this way. We need to get back to the Pillar of Autumn. Let's go back to the shuttle bay and find a ride. Perfect. Grab one of the escort banshees and we'll use it to return to the Pillar of Autumn. No human life signs detected. The captain... He's one of them. We can't let the Flood get off this ring. You know what he'd expect, what he'd want us to do. It's done. I have the code. We should go. Captain? Captain? I've lost him. He's delirious. In pain. We have to find him. The captain. His vitals are fading. Please, chief, hurry. The Covenant Network is absolute chaos. From what I've been able to piece together, their leadership ordered all ships to abandon Halo when they found the Flood. But they were too late. The Flood overwhelmed this cruiser and disabled it. The Covenant are terrified the Flood will repair the ship and use it to escape from Halo. They've sent in a strike team to neutralize the Flood and repair the ship for immediate departure. I've got a good lock on Captain Key's CNI transponder signal. He's alive, and the implants are intact. There's some interference from the cruiser's damaged reactor. I'll bring us in as close as I can. Oh, I see. The coordinate data needs to be... Right. Sorry. We need to get to the bridge. From there, we can use the captain's neural implants to initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. The bridge. We made it. Let's get to work. I need you to upload me into the control systems. The terminal is located next to the main view screen. Warning! Sentinels are attacking! Chief, we need to get to the engine room. That's the only other place where the monitor can override the self-destruct sequence. Transfer me back to your suit. We need to go! Chief, get me out of this terminal! The ship was heavily damaged when it crashed. Head to the cryo chamber. We should be able to get to the engine room through there. Engine room located. We're here. Alert! The monitor has disabled all command access. We can't restart the countdown. The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. That should do enough damage to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through it. First, we need to pull back the exhaust couplings. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive core. Good! Step one complete! We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. We need a catalyst explosion to destabilize the magnetic containment field surrounding the fusion cells. Use an explosive. I recommend a grenade or rocket. If you run out of explosives, there is an armory station located near the engine room's entrance. Analyzing. Fusion reactor number one destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion of the engines. Keep it up. Only one more fusion reactor to go. That did it. The engine's gone critical. Based on the current rate of decay, we should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. We don't have much time. We should move outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a Class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry! Cortana to Echo 419. Come in, Echo 419. The Pillar of Autumn's engines are going critical, Fohammer. Request immediate extraction. Approach the crash site and be ready to pick us up at external access junction 4C as soon as you get my signal. Negative, negative. We have a wildcat destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained more damage than we thought. Analyzing. We have seven minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now. Analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now. Analyzing. We have five minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now. Activating final countdown timer. When it reaches zero, the engines will detonate. The explosion will generate a temperature of almost 100 million degrees. Don't be here when it blows. Alert! Our RV point with Fohammer is further towards the ship's bow than our current position. Use a warthog to reach the extraction point or we'll never make it in time. We can't make it on foot. We need a vehicle. Alert! We need to keep moving. Get back in the warthog. Turn around. You're driving the wrong way. Stop! Chief, we need to go the other direction. Wait, stop! This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. 
Hold position here. Cortana to Echo 419. Request extraction now. On the double! Cortana to Echo 419. Two Covenant Banshees are approaching on your six. Evade! Say again, evade! Echo 419! She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. Ship's inventory shows one longsword fighter is still docked in Launch Bay 7. If we move now, we can make it. Chief, up ahead, there's a gap in the trench. At top speed, we should be able to clear it. That's the ship. Move! We need to get aboard now! This thing is falling apart! We're not gonna make it! Pull up! Pull up! You did that on purpose, didn't you?